talking about it, but the reality is summer holidays are coming to an end. It may be time to consider refocusing on some healthy meal planning, adding pulses, chickpeas, lentils, dry peas, and beans can help fuel your family. Easy on the wallet? Budget-friendly pulses are, are not only versatile from a nutrition and culinary perspective, but budget-friendly, great vegetarian, gluten-free, meatless Monday options, wonderful things to put on your dinner plate. And, Andrea, like you kind of hit home the point that this is, this is doable. This is, uh, can be quick. It can be easy. This isn't, it's not overly complicated. You bet. And one of the things that I love as a, a mom and a dietitian is that pulses are simple to add into meals very, very quickly. So you can do canned ones. You can cook them very simply. They okay. even freeze just to toss into just about any kind of salad, soup, quesadilla, And taco. filling. Whatever you go. Um, yeah. Let's start with then, I guess this is a breakfast you've got on this side here. You bet. So I brought in three recipes, um, and you can grab all of these recipes on the pulses.org um, website. So Can Pulse Canada has prepared some awesome ideas that I love. Easy to do here. This is a breakfast burrito. All I added was literally a can of roasted tomatoes. You can, any kind of tomato will okay. do. Um, some canned drained white kidney beans or cannellini mm -hmm. beans is the other name they go by. A little bit of chili powder to your seasoning uh, desire. Some scrambled eggs, and then you just top it with a little avocado. This is going to be dinner for us tonight at oh, actually okay. at our house. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have said breakfast then. So it could be but breakfast. It, it, could it could be dinner. It could be dinner. It looks great. It looks really <laughs> refreshing. This one has caught my eye because it almost looks like a pizza. What have you got going you on? You bet. This is a barbecue-based pizza. Again, all you need. Simple. Um, take a can of chickpeas, drain them, add a half a cup of barbecue sauce. Um, I sauteed my onion because it brings out the flavor, but okay. you don't even need to. Put a little bit of onion in there, throw it on top of your whole wheat pita bread, toss it into the oven, and I just topped it with a little bit of basil. How long here. for chickpeas? I, I assume they, they could burn. How long would you put something like that in for? It? You know what? This was 425 for like 10 minutes. Oh, it's easy. Dinner in done, 10 done. minutes. Done. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> okay, what's this is a little more, more unique. Yeah, so savory snack option here. So what we've got is lentils. And one of the things I love about a dried lentil is they cook really quickly. So under 20 minutes, your lentils okay. are done. Usually I batch cook a whole bunch, put them into the freezer. And here you just um, put a little bit of olive oil, some sea salt, a little bit of fresh thyme, roast them in the oven, and they come back as a nice little crunchy lentil. Like just a, a straight out snack? Would you, you do you use it as filling in any way too? You could top it on top of a salad is another way that I like to eat that, but wonderful sort of savory, crunchy, but again, high protein snack. Most pulses, half a cup, which is about the size of my measuring cup at the front here. It goes a long way. Has about nine grams of protein. So wonderful, excellent uh, idea. Do you think people are tentative a little bit sometimes because they don't know what to do with it? You bet. And so I've partnered a little bit with um, Pulse Canada. Canada. So if you go into their website, um, they're encouraging Canadians to take the half cup challenge. And what it's all about is you can sign up for a free four week recipe challenge where they're going to send you some ideas on actually how to cook pulses, your lentils, chickpeas, dried peas and, and beans. And they're going to send that to you and you can get all these recipes plus more um, at pulses.org. And it's, so it's incredibly versatile. Versatile. What I love about pulses too is a Canadian success story. Right. We actually export more pulses in Canada um, than any other country and most people don't even know that. That's great. You're supporting the local economy <laughs> for bet. sure. Andrea, I always appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Again, you can head to pulses.org for more information on that and take the challenge.